Greetings, this is Eris. Thank you for tuning in to another video. This video's topic is going to be the purpose of cities, energy harvesting, and the Archons. So all of this information was recently downloaded to me in a meditation. This past weekend I watched the movie Apocalypto with a friend and the movie um, interconnected with what I was shown in meditation and it kind of just all like blended and painted a bigger picture. So in the movie Apocalypto there's a particular point where they're showing the Mayan city where on the outside there's the people that are impoverished and they have no shelter, they barely have food, they're very dirty and unkept looking. And on the inside of the city there were the different classes so you could see people that were obviously wealthy and of a certain type of like elite status. You could see people that were more so in like middle class. Um, and there was entertainment and there was a temple that was built that was used to sacrifice men on. So from the brief history that my friend provided on regards to like that whole Mayan culture and, and point in time was that they were sun worshippers or they worshipped a sun deity. They believed that by sacrificing men it would fulfill the thirst that the god had for blood and for energy and they would receive um, whatever favor they were trying to get. I don't know if it was rain or what but they are basically a sacrificial society and at a sacrificial consciousness. So in the meditation, I was shown an apartment building that was, I have a neighbor that's doing housework. So I might either have to pause or this video might be a little choppy. So I apologize for that. And he's like using a saw and doing all kinds of noisy stuff. <laughs> but, um, Yes, I was shown an apartment building, just like a tower style apartment building, maybe like 30 or so floors. And it started lighting up floor by floor. And I intuitively felt that it was not electricity that was lighting up the apartment building. It was the energy of the people that were inhabiting it. It was their soul essence, their light. And this machine being shaped like a circle with like metal tentacles was floating throughout the apartment building, able to go through the walls and basically just like take the energy from the people in the apartment and then the light would dim and it would it went through each floor, like throughout the apartment building doing that. And I, I've heard Archons and I don't know much about Archons, but from what I received in meditation is that they are a fourth and fifth dimensional species of um i don't know extraterrestrial alien whatever but they are cut off from source they are masters of manipulation masters of illusion and they're the ones that have put up this 3d construct this matrix so the same way that there was a this deity this this being the sun god that required blood and sacrifice in the mayan culture there, what was shown was that the same thing is here present day and it's archonic in nature. And I don't know if the deity changes over time or if it's just the same energy but manifesting in a different way, but I just was intuitively felt the connection and how it's still happening today, but it's just in a, it's, it's, it's changed and evolved in shape and expression. So, in the movie Apocalypto, there was like the crowd of people that were happy to witness the men being sacrificed, that were cheering for it, that were just like so ecstatic. And I was just like, what the heck? Because I'm not, I'm the opposite. I would not want to witness that. I would want no part in that. I would not want to see men after men after men literally being stabbed in the heart to death, their heart being ripped out while they're still alive and then decapitated and then their body and head just like flung and, <laughs> and bouncing down the stairs into a body pit at the base and like there's men at the bottom that are like playing to see who can catch the head with like baskets and I'm just like oh my goodness my heart would know that that is wrong that that is not okay that I would I just would not want to witness that so even though there's not people present day that are cheering and and happy to see people being sacrificed or murdered or killed they kind of are 
So I was shown that the way that we are happy to wage war in other nations um, coming from an American perspective and in and, and this consciousness of the United States of America, there, there are a majority of consciousness people are, are willing to wage war or wait, no, no quotations on waging war, wage war in the name of homeland security that are happy to genocide people, to bomb countries, to bomb um, nations and destroy and destabilize nations in, in thought of it being for our highest or best good to protect us. When in reality, that thought process, that consciousness, that belief system comes from a disconnection from the heart, from a disconnection from source, from the not knowing, the person not remembering that they're divine not remembering that there is enough, that there is love, that there is light. When you're disconnected from source like the Archons are, when you don't have a... So when you do not have a connection with your emotions, when you do not have an emotional body, when you're not connected to your spirit, to your divinity, you are not able to create, you are not able to manifest. What makes us creators, what makes us divine, what makes us manifestors is our connection to our heart, is our knowing and our awareness to our divinity. Our emotions, our feelings, our thoughts are so important and so valuable that a artificial construct, an artificial matrix has been created to manipulate our consciousness, to manifest the archonic reality. So you're probably thinking, how do, how do we do that? How do we manifest the reality? We manifest the reality by them being archonic, vampiric in nature. So their very nature, their very essence is manipulative, is um, illusionary based. So they project negative thought forms, fear-based realities at us. And because we are human machines, biological machines that have a sensory system, that have intuition, that have the ability to pick up on subtle energies, whether you're conscious of it or not, or whether we are conscious of it or not, when they project, and and they're also interdimensional beings I was shown because it, 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 it took me outward and it showed me the city structure and how there's just archons throughout the city that are siphoning energy from buildings, from people, how there's like these machines that look like just everyday little, like, batteries or something or um, power boxes but they're actually siphoners and stores of energy and the archons like plug up to them and get energy from them and um, I was shown concerts and how in concerts there's archon like archons that attach to the the area of the concert to siphon the energy of the people cheering and giving their excitement and stuff how they have um, the same machines that are like on the streets in the concert halls whether it's inside or outside um, <laughs> like, this is so wild uh, where what else was it shown that they have um, how the bombings and the genocides and flying planes into buildings and bombing marathons and murdering people and this bloodlust is to feed the archons, is to feed this this need for trauma, for fear, for low vibrations, for negativity because without it they cannot um, survive, without it they cannot have their reality. So since you're disconnected from source you're no longer immortal and once you lose that essence you you are just back with creation and if you're used to um, existing in a certain way it's like you would have to keep it up because it's life or death for you there's no other reincarnation or incarnation because you've given up your divinity you've disconnected you've lost your light and I was I was also shown how it's like in the Mayan aspect I don't know if the deity shape shifts or the energy transfers or what but it's like this, the, the archons are a future aspect of the same entity. And so our, our human construct is that time is linear, past, present, future. But outside of that human construct, time is actually non-existent in that sense. It's all simultaneous. So the archons are presently here, here but the machine machinery of the archon is futuristic based. They created the machine body because they didn't, they weren't able to have a physical body. So 
this is the, and they're interdimensional because they're here presently we just cannot perceive them because of whatever cloaking is happening whatever programming that's been put over us to not perceive our reality so again like the illusion so when they project a negative thought form at us and we pick it up and we take on that fear, we take on that negativity and we feel that, we start vibrating that way because we are the ones that are connected to our hearts and connected to source. Our thoughts, our beliefs, our feelings manifest our reality. So when we pick up that negative feeling and feel that and process that, we're projecting that not just providing negative energy for them to feed off of a food source but also manifesting the negative reality, upholding the negative 3D construct. So for empaths and, and fellow intuitives and people like myself and that are very energetically sensitive and that have recognized how valuable our energy is, how valuable our intention, our attention and intention are, our focus, our beliefs, our feelings, you're not so quick to my camera cut off. Once you realize how valuable your energy is, your attention, your intention, your focus, your beliefs, your feelings are, you're not so quick to give them up or have them so manipulated and messed with by living in a city or spending a lot of time in a city. And that's not to say that cities are bad or good or that archons are bad or good even. It's just an aspect of creation. And we wouldn't know light without darkness. We wouldn't know positivity and love without negativity and hate and anger and those things so when we think of it universally it's all just aspects of creation it's all the creator experiencing itself so our cons are not bad or good and i struggle to keep this expanded consciousness of of just observing things and not attaching to labeling them but once you go to the micro once you go from the macrocosm of viewing it that way and go to the microcosm of viewing it as a third dimensional human in this phys in this body your consciousness can definitely be vibrating higher than 3d you can already be at a fifth dimensional sixth dimensional consciousness but this physical body is definitely <laughs> here in the 3d so as a third dimensional physical bodied human i see how certain things can be labeled as bad or good. But I try to keep my mind expanded to not view it as bad or good, but I just thought it was very interesting to see how cities are literally structured to harness, to create, to store negative energy. So again, whether it's like these genocides, these shootings, these bombings that take place, they're intentional um, events and things that are done to create a specific energy to keep a low vibration so that these beings can continue to exist and keep up their charade of this matrix so when you're in a city as an intuitive or as an empath or a mystic or a highly sensitive person it's it's a lot harder to develop your energy to work on your energy body to expand your energy because there's just like so many things not attacking it even though there probably are attacks that are being done energetically but just mixing with it and being in nature where you're kind of like fine-tuning your energy and the trees and the sounds and the animals are in cohesion with you and and there's a much different vibration a vibration of love a higher vibration it's easier to develop your gifts and develop your self-awareness and your energetic awareness and expand your aura to develop psychic awareness to develop your psychic ability to protect yourself the archons are an aspect of creation and they're here siphoning energy creating thought forms projecting thought forms um and i oh i also saw it as like it and they're like demonic in nature so they're parasitic and vampiric and that's why people that are vampiric and parasitic in nature are attracted to cities because there's always something for them to tap into and there's always something for them to feed off of whether it's um being around positive people all the time to feed off of the positivity or making somebody feel bad so that you then feed off of their negativity um whether it's walking to your favorite restaurant that's open late at night or you're purchasing a prostitute there's always there's always energetic stimulation and lots of it in cities and that's why there's hubs of people and people are attracted to it and, and are pushed towards cities because there's a certain energetic quota that's required by the archons that are um currently in rulership of this realm and 
outside of that meditation, I know that we are being lifted out of the dark age, the Kali Yuga, and we're coming into an awakening where people are waking up to their divinity. So because they know that it's basically like their time's up, they're just like fighting to the death. So it's like they're not trying to leave the party. They're going to go out kicking and screaming, trying to drag down as many people with them. So when you are a person that vibrates negatively, you have these attachments, you have these thought forms. And when you have a thought form for long enough, it's like seeing how energy can kind of birth. It's not created or destroyed, but the more intention and focus you put on something, it creates like a consciousness. So you're almost creating this, or not almost, but you are taking part in creating a negative reality. Because if you focus on positive things, and not to say to shun your shadow or to neglect your shadow, but integrate your shadow so that you can feel emotions that are lower or sad or mad or anger, but move through them to not stay there, to not resonate there. Because when you do, the longer that you do, the more of that that you create and manifest in reality. So being conscious of your energy, um, being aware of your energy so that you can sense subtle energy so that you can tell when a thought form especially a negative one is kind of like passing by you 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 have this more observing perspective rather than attaching to it and and thinking that it's yours or feeling like it's yours um, so yes that is it thank you for watching like comment subscribe and share if you would like and feel free to share any of your um, similar experiences or ask any questions or develop a conversation in the comments if you would like and until next time take care